Today we will write a JavaScript program to track user's cursor position on the HTML document and we will display the coordinates of the cursor. First I'll show, I'll write both HTML as well as JavaScript program in the same file. Later I'll show how to embed an external JavaScript file to your HTML document. In this program I'll take a form with two empty input tags, input elements and later by writing JavaScript we will fill the values of these empty input tags. So let's start by writing our form tag and let's write a label x-axis will be filling the value of x-axis through JavaScript file. So x-axis input type it's a text its type is text I'll take an ID and call it X. Note that we haven't taken value attribute here because we are leaving it empty and later filling it using JavaScript program. Okay, so we have two empty input tags in our HTML document. Now we will start writing our JavaScript program. I hope by now you are familiar with these embedded JavaScript type. Its syntax is script. We have to tell what type of script it is. It is text slash JavaScript and it has a closing script tag. Now when we move our mouse on the document, our HTML document that is document dot on mouse move we will call the function by name call now I am writing the function call it takes a parameter called event event let me show how it looks on the web browser so we have two empty input fields x-axis and y-axis when we move our mouse on the document it throws some objects it automatically throws some object the browser throws the object and it it is accepted by this call function now we will with the help of this object event object we will get the x-axis and y-axis values and put it here in the empty input fields here let's write it so get the element by its id that is x dot its value is equal to the object name that is event dot it has a property called client x the event is mouse move event on the document that event has a property called client x which gives x axis value now document dot get element by id we get the element by its id y dot its value is equal to event dot client y this value we are trying to fill through our JavaScript file so dot that value field is equal to event dot client y that's it save the file open the browser refresh when you move your mouse over this HTML document its corresponding x-axis and y-axis value will be displayed 
for example we will move to extreme left so that x axis remains 0 to the extreme top of the browser window y axis remains constant and x axis keeps changing but we have a problem here still we have a problem it works with Chrome Mozilla Firefox but if you open the same file in Internet Explorer nothing seems to be working the reason here is because the browser doesn't throw the object event object automatically here so what we need to do is pass the event object manually so we can do it by passing that event to the body so we write inside the body tag on mouse move we will manually call our javascript function call function name itself is call and pass the event remember you have to write the full name that is event -E you can't use your own variable or object name here now refresh the file okay it works but to keep this programming more professional we need to okay now you need you can even comment those to the that line and it still works as we are manually passing the event but to keep this program more professional or in real time programming there will be teams to maintain the HTML program and another team to maintain the JavaScript file so we the Java the team which handles JavaScript file can't call up the guys maintaining the HTML file and tell them each time to change the value attributes and all so we need to maintain everything inside javascript file itself we have to handle this problem through javascript file without modifying the html file so here it is if event if there is no object that is not symbol if there is no nothing called event then assign it the event value that is event is equal to window dot event that's it now close save the file refresh our internet explorer okay it works now it works even in chrome google chrome let's try it in mozilla firefox okay it works on all three major browsers in real time the JavaScript file and HTML file will be separated and using some code these two files will be linked to each other let's do it or to make it more professional take off this code and write the embed tag here script type is equal to text slash javascript src is the source source files location that is event.js we will write it now it has a closing script tag to save the file open a new document save it as event.js which is a javascript file extension .js save the file now paste whatever you removed there now make sure you remove this scriptlet tag script tags when you are writing external javascript file you should not write these script tags refresh okay, it works now whenever you need to change something some characteristics mm, uh, say that you don't want to change the value of x and y axis when you mouse when you move the mouse cursor over the html document you want to change it when you click on the html document so you need not change anything in the html file you just go to the javascript file 
change that on mouse move property to on click that's it now when you move your mouse over the HTML document it doesn't work but when you click on it it works so you need not change the HTML file ever whatsoever you only need to change the JavaScript file and that's convenient and professional enough for source code visit technotip.com t-e-c-h-n-o-t-i-p dot com thank you